connections are quite the interesting thing. It's a feature on Craigslist where people go in and make a post trying to get someone's attention that they saw earlier in that day. At best, that other person they had a nice conversation with, maybe quickly in the grocery store or something, but usually it's just people kind of awkwardly observing someone from afar and then posting on Craigslist later trying to get their attention so they can get married and have a great life together, all based off of one small interaction. It's basically a bunch of people who are too obsessed with the concept love at first sight. They just take it to a whole new creepy level. And even sometimes people are just posting about uh, what kind of person they want to hook up with that night. It is truly terrifying. So I thought it'd be kind of funny to go in and take a little look and give some ratings to some mixed connections in New York City. It's called Craigslist Critique Missed Connections Edition. And keep in mind, especially in a huge metropolitan city like New York, it's highly unlikely the other person is going to see the post that is meant for them so they can find their love. Because in many cases, that other person's just going about their day. And the other person's being creepy. It only creeps on this channel. Well, not anymore. All right, we'll start off with the classic example of what a missed connection is. Kind of at a loss for words, both now and then. I was speechless in the suffocating humidity when you were talking to the subway teller about change in a nice summer dress. My neck turned into rubber. Uh, how romantic. Then as I dragged my shit up the stairs and paused to orient, I somehow found you in front of me with golden brown metallic sandals, and you made it hard for me to walk. Come on. We were at the corner together, crossed together, and then you were gone. If I didn't have to go, I would have walked over and said hello. I hope to see you again soon. This is a classic example because it's somebody who saw someone else and was too afraid and scared to say hello, so they just uh, resorted to Craigslist. I give this one a rating of 3 out of 5 because it's not too creepy, it's not too obscene. It's someone who um, was clearly smitten with this person. Uh, I don't think it's successful, but it's not as bad as it could be. So, 3. Here's an interesting one. Ride my face all over the place. Lol. Beautiful, you taught me how to eat the area properly. Wish I could show you how far I've come. Or show someone if you know what I mean. <laughs> come ride this face. I'm in Brooklyn, ladies, let me know. No funny business, enjoy. And then you post a uh, picture of an emoji that implies funny business. When I first read this, I thought it was a newcomer to the area at one point, and he's reaching out to someone who taught him the cool places around Brooklyn to eat. No, um, it turns out, as I'm assuming, the it's uh, the area is a much smaller area than Brooklyn, and um, not something you usually gain nutritional value from. Disgusting. This one gets a 1.5. It's not as bad as a one yet, but I'm just upset personally because I was confused. I don't like being confused. Okay, this one is titled plus stranger on a train! Or maybe it's a train. I don't know. Your eye caught mine. You were with someone I was alone. I know we've met before. We couldn't speak then. How about later today? Wouldn't it be great if you see this? I had on the long brown hair, pink boots with red lipstick. Call text. Then it's a uh, number that I will not put in. This one, it's, it's interesting because on one hand, this person could have easily gone up to the person and be like, Listen, I know we've talked before, I just don't know and I don't remember. Please refresh me. Hi, I'm so-and-so. Um, but no, they instead uh, waited till later and posted on Craigslist to hopefully find us. And they posted their number for the entire world to see, so we could easily text them now. I give it a 3 out of 5. This one has the same kind of title layout, so I think it's from the same person as a stranger on a train! Cutie, eating alone at sushi restaurant. Oh yep, yeah, and there's the same phone number. It is the same person. So this person is a, uh, a regular here on the Craigslist Misconnections. Uh, let's give it a read. You had a touch laptop and ate edamame, dumplings, and drink beer. I sipped wine and tucked in a California roll. You sat one seat over. We have both ate alone. Why didn't you come and talk to me? I'm here in business for a couple of days if you want to meet. And I give this a 1 out of 5. You don't blame the other person for not wanting to randomly talk to you, a stranger, in public. 1. 1 out of 5. Thank you. Why do people put their phone number out there random on the internet to see? It's crazy. Especially when they blame people for not talking to them. This one's titled, Hot Women Commuting to Work. It'll be interesting to see if it's multiple women or uh, just someone who can't type. 
Every summer morning and evening, I arrive at the subway to go to work or come home from the gym and I see you. Attractive women of various ages, shapes, and sizes wearing your hot little summer dresses. Oh my god. I can't help but keep looking even though I know I shouldn't, so I stand there in my suit and tie or shouldering my gym bag pretending not to. That's a, what we call being a sly creep. I give this one a 2 out of 5. It's not overtly creepy, it's not overtly weird, um, but it's just very unsuccessful. Or maybe not, maybe if you're broadening your pool it's going to be more successful. I guess I can't, um, guess I can't complain. But he is blocking out people who ride a bike to work or take a car or taxi. So, I don't know. This one's my favorite because it's a good typo. Met at grocery store Whole Foods. But there's no W. It's just a big hole full of food. It's all the way, oh! This is the same person as um, previously, I think. Uh, they write their number the same way to call and text them. But, wow, this person is really desperate. You are the guy who was looking at ready roasted chicken to go. You smiled me and being the girl I am, I smiled back. When we talked about the lack of stuffing in the chickens, you want to stuff it and that made me smile. You winked but we never exchanged phone numbers. You promised it would be a good fit and comfortable for something very tight. I'd like you to see this and drop a note as soon as possible. I wish I knew what you look like. That's probably concentrating on another part of you. Okay, I'm gonna give this one a three. Uh, it could easily be a four or five because they had a conversation in the store. It's important to have a conversation if you're trying to reach out to someone you think you had a real connection with because then that person is more likely to go out looking for you and maybe end up on Craigslist. However, I'm demoting it down to a three because it got really sexual really fast. That is weird. Missed female email connection. Good rhyming, good start. Looking to find a woman to write back and forth through email. Your central woman likes to flirt and chat. You know what? I'm gonna give this one a 4 out of 5. It's not creepy, it's just a guy. He's not even looking for a one night stand or a hookup. He just wants to flirt with someone over email. I think there are other options. You can text or write letters, but you know what? 4 out of 5. Not bad. And this is a very broad scope. It could be literally anybody in the world that he can email. So, good job. I like that one. Any guys looking for a buddy to stroke with? Hit me up. White, clean cut, professional hair looking for other guys in my situation. 5 out of 5. He knows exactly what he wants, gets straight to the point. If someone is looking at this and they're also interested, they know what to do. Five out of five. Good job. So I got a uh, pretty dark there. I'm using natural window lighting and a storm's rolling in and also it is later in the day so the sun is starting to set, which means it's getting darker in here. I visited you several times at your place in Washington Heights where we had some very sweet times. Miss it and would love to reconnect. This one, I'm giving it a pity 4 out of 5 because clearly they, this person had a connection with the other person previously. They kind of lost connection so this is a desperate plea to try to get that back and I think we've all been there in some sense. So um, yeah, very, very pitiful 4 out of 5 and I'm kind of sad now. I hope, hope this person finds their doctor. Hi Ashley, I'm still having a hard time getting over you after 3 years and I would love to reconnect. We met through your posting on Craigslist personals back in 2016. Met in Central Park and talked for a long, long time. Then you had me over your place a few times for what I describe as the most fun I've ever had in bed. Kind of creepy. But you know what you're looking for, so... You know, you know I'm kind of torn on that one, on the fence. And after a couple of weeks, you stayed shifting super stressed out and stopped communicating with me. I just cannot get over you, Ashley. If you happen to come across this listing, please, please contact me. I'll be waiting. Here's another one that makes me sad inside. Um, it's a desperate plea to reconnect with someone who they had a deep connection with years ago. And um, I don't know, it's sad. Because I, I, to me, this person has been mulling over this for the past three years. And they've, they've finally like got the courage to try to uh, reconnect out there. Um, so, a very pitiful 4 out of 5. Now, if all this, if this is your only way to contact Ashley, um, I might be missing a huge ch- I, mean, I might be missing Ashley's side of the story here, because if this person has to post on Craigslist to try to get Ashley's attention, then potentially Ashley has blocked this person on all forms of media and from phone and maybe has a restraining order against them, so... I, 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 I don't know. I have to go base off the post. Um, but just know, if that's true, it gets a 
big negative five out of five for me. All right, we're gonna end things off with this one, B-Train Airdrop. This one is terrible. I hate this one. It's a, it gets a one out of five for me. I airdropped you today on the B-Train. I wish I would have caught your eye when you turn around instead of playing dumb. I know you glanced at me sitting in the back of the bus too. What did I send you? Listen, this is a pure example of don't creep someone out. Don't airdrop them anything because that is that can be seen as kind of intimidating or weird and creepy because you are getting into their phone and it's weird, especially if you've never talked to that person before. So this one, severe of one out of five, dare I say zero out of five. Don't be creepy. All right, thank you. That was a lot of fun. Leave a comment down below if you want me to critique something next. I'm not only sticking with missed connections, I will critique anything and everything because I have opinions. If you like what you saw, you want to see more of it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next one. No, I'm not good enough. That's such an early, early 2010s YouTuber thing to do. Bye!